Where are we, Kara? Where are we? We're in sunny Sarasota. It's gonna be awesome, baby, because we are just about to talk to legendary basketball commentator, <laughs> Dick Vitale. Let's just do your best Dickie V impersonation. Let's see it. This is awesome, baby. <laughs> We are at Dickie V's home in Sarasota. Tomorrow we're tagging along for his final of six chemo treatments. He is adamant he's gonna be out by 4, 4.30 tomorrow to ring the bell. And uh, I, I am certain that if he puts his mind to something, the, the man is gonna make it happen. It's kind of touching, like listening to him speak, because I mean, here's a guy who's got my eyes are watering just like thinking about it. But I mean, here's a guy who's like accomplished so much is the, the best there ever was as a commentator in college basketball. And you know, you're sitting across from him where mortality's been something on his mind. And you know, the only thing that he wanted to talk about is how important it was to have had such a great family and his wife Lorraine and his kids and grandkids and he's here because of his support system in addition to the team of doctors. So it just, you know, puts, rightly puts stuff in perspective for you. The one thing I learned, you get ready for chemo, don't let, you gotta be active. Yeah, does that help, I guess? Yeah, yeah. it does. I've been lucky so far. I plan on doing a game. I have a goal. I'm gonna do it. I will do a game at 100 years of age. Take that to the bank. I will do it. All right, Graham. Well, you just wrapped with Dickie V and wife Lorraine. How did it go? I think it went well. It's always nice having the opportunity to get the wife's perspective because especially with these health challenges that he's gone through over the past seven months. Just say, I beat it and you can too. It equally affected her as his partner and the, the, the family. So to be able to kind of share that as part of this episode, I think is important. All right, Graham. Well, this is day two of shooting with Dick Vitale. Is it, do you always leave your shoelaces untied? Where are the, where are the people? What? Who cares? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are at the hospital in Sarasota where Dickie V is getting his final chemo treatment. Uh, I think he's seemingly excited to hopefully ring the bell later today. Cancer free. It's been a long, arduous seven months and I know he's glad to be here and uh, super grateful for the opportunity to tag along for this. That way, sir. Come on, Lorraine, let's go. You're slow. What kind of emotions have you felt like tagging along with with Dick and Lorraine through this journey? <laughs> Ring the bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> it's always interesting having the opportunity to get a peek behind the curtain and see what life is really like for these larger than life figures. And there's nobody more synonymous with the game of college basketball than Dick Vitale. And, He's going through some real life struggles and they're struggles that everybody can identify with because even if it's not you or immediate family, everybody knows somebody that struggled with cancer. And so to the extent that his journey and his willingness can, to be open can positively impact somebody, then, you know, that's amazing that we're able to, uh, help in that way. All right, how about your best uh, Dick Vitale impression? My best Dick Vitale impression? Um, Lorraine! Lorraine! He, he always calls for Lorraine when he needs something. It's awesome, baby! Or something like that, yeah. <laughs> He's a PTPer, baby! He's a PTPer! You're awesome, baby! Lorraine! That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, baby, with a capital A!